Let's see. Oh, yeah, that looks good right there. Take that shot. Yep. All right. How's it going, everybody? I know. What am I doing down on the ground? We'll get to that in just a second. I got another shot to take. How's it going, everybody? Hope you're having a wonderful day. I know. What does a pair of glasses and a camera have to do with anything? And a shot of a car? Well, it goes to content creation. That's what this video is about. Content creation and a few ideas about when, how, and where to put your videos online, photos online, whatever. And it all comes down to creativity. You're, you're only limited by your mind. I mean, it doesn't matter whether it's photography, videography, or even planting a garden. It doesn't matter. It's all limited by what's up here. So, that said, let's get in here and answer a question. So what does really this have to do with anything you may be asking? Well, I see it on forums all the time. What should I do for my YouTube channel? What type of channel should I have? All that stuff. And we'll get to another point here in just a second, which is what the video is really about. What should your videos be about? What type of channel should you have? That's just going to come down to you. What interest do you have? What do you have readily available? Are you a gamer? Do you, are you into stop motion photography? Are you into Hot Wheels? Are you into home renovations? Are you into home decorating? Uh, are you into gardening? Whatever. I would suggest that's where you start. And the reason I say start with that, and you can evolve or change or whatever you want to do, or you don't even have to do it. But the reason I say start with that to practice, you can open up a second channel later on, well, however you want to do it. You're working with something you have a little bit of knowledge about, okay? So that's how you really get into that. Because let's face it, on YouTube, if you're going to start a car channel, you really need thirty dollars to $40,000 plus a really nice car that everybody's interested in to start dumping money into your car that way it draws people in to watching what you're doing to your car and then they'll want to see more and more and you'll get more and more subscribers but i mean by all means do a video do a channel whatever you choose just be aware that unless you got a bunch of money to dump in your channel like i was saying you're into makeup doing makeup hauls and stuff like that or you're a really young petite good looking lady or or male and you do try on hauls that seems to be what sells on youtube that that's what everybody's all or you're really into drama that is what the top channels on youtube are all about looking good or drama basically covers it all and why am i covering this is because like i said i see it everywhere everybody's always asking yada 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 what should i do how should i do it number one you have to be you don't try to be anybody else use your own technique use your own own references your own life and just be you don't be somebody else don't be fake and the second question that i always get asked when should i release my videos when should i release them because let's face it youtube most people don't join youtube just to do videos just for the heck of it right they do it because there's a monetary gain in it. Yes, once you get over 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours right now as the making of this video, you can become monetized by YouTube. What that means is they'll put ads on your videos and everything, and depending on how long people watch them, it's a really weird algorithm. How many people watch the commercials? How many people click on the ads for the commercials? How long do people watch your videos? There's so much that goes into this, I don't even think they really know it. But, it always comes down to the same thing. When should I do it? When should I do it? When should I do it? So let's answer that question. Now I'm just going to assume that you've done a couple of videos. You know, you've decided that you'd like to do this and now you're wondering what's going on. The professionals at YouTube, the powers that be, will tell you to stick to a date, stick to a time. Will it be once a week, twice a week, five times a week, whatever. Three o'clock in the morning, seven o'clock in the evening, it doesn't matter. Whatever you want to choose, depending on your job, your life, all that good stuff. And the reason they want you to do that is so your viewers know when to come and actually look to see if you've put out a new video. With that said, it will also go into the algorithm. You know, like I said, dependability as far as when you're doing it, the time that you're doing it, and all that. It will actually go into the algorithm and it will come up on suggested playlists. 
in other words if I go and I click on a video right here's one of my videos playing over to the right is a bunch of videos and what this is is videos that are recommended depend by my search history or stuff my interest and stuff like that okay modding your cars whatever and in this particular one is how it's a how-to video and it's how to fix your key for the Camaro so it will bring it up over there but what I am here to show you is your viewers will actually tell you when they want to see it and here's what I mean if you go up to the top of your page you'll see the amount of subscribers you have the amount of views that you've got and your video manager you could click on any one of these three let's just click on video manager just for the heck of it it will bring up this page this is all the videos that you have done any that you have scheduled I have one scheduled to come out after a while but it tells all that over to the left it gives you a wide selection of stuff your dashboard you could click that it tells you the, the latest video performance in other words this is the last video I made and posted it tells you it gives you tips and videos on creator insiders just all kind of stuff you can watch those and get tips from people who have a lot of viewers a lot of subscribers yada 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 and it tells you your recent subscribers okay now over to the left is a bunch you can click on comments right it tells you all your comments but the main one we're going to worry about right now is analytics if you click on analytics it tells you your current your current um, monetization amount tells you again your latest video the real-time latest top views top videos for your channel gives you the amount of subscribers you have again and for the last 48 hours how many views you've gotten but if you scroll down it gives you other stuff like your top performing videos for the month or for the last 48 vi hours if you look right across the top of there you have other things like reach engagement audience or revenue well reach let's click on that and see what it says reach tells you how many people you've reached i had 40 478,000 impressions five percent click-through rate 40,000 views and 25,000 viewers gave me those 40,000 views and if you scroll down it tells you the top resources and if you've ever wondered where all right let's say let's say you're posting all your social media okay and i know this isn't really what we was talking about earlier but let's assume that you're you're, you're posting on all your social media and you want to know where all your views are coming from you can tell it from here but if you go right right here to where it says your total traffic and click on see more right it brings up this page and if you scroll down it tells you where everything is coming from like google searches your facebook page I belong to Camaro 5, so I'm seeing that I've gotten 40 views from there, 2.4%. Uh, my Samsung email account, other pages that I belong to, right? So if you see one that's not performing, then you can modify where you put your stuff. If you're doing it to 10, 10 different social media outlets and only two of them are performing, why waste your time putting it on those non-performing social media? In other words, if Facebook and Twitter's doing it for you, then focus on Facebook and Twitter. Let the other ones alone. Don't mess with them. Traffic source types. YouTube search through suggested videos. In other words, like I said, if you do it, um, if you do it consecutively enough, it'll show up over on the top right hand side. That's what suggested videos are. So I get 31% of my video views from that. 32% are actually doing a search. And you can click on see more. And let's see what see more brings up. It tells you YouTube search, external, channel pages, notifications, all that stuff. But you can even see more geography, you know, where's most of it coming from. 74% of my views are in the United States, but it just gives you so very, very much. I mean, it can even tell you your gender, who's watching you most, 92% male, viewer age, right? 25 to 34. So I can target that 25 to 34 audience with what I put on, how I speak, how I dress, stuff like that, right? So all this stuff is very useful. But this is the one that the, the main video is about. How to know when to put your videos on, okay? I've done, I don't put too much into what they say because 
I've done two videos a day for a month. I've done one video a day for a month. I've done one video a week for a month. Different times, same time. And for my channel, personally, I'm not rich. You know, I don't have tons of money that I can just afford to throw into the channel on my cars and stuff. I've got the money. I just can't use it because I've got to save it for other things. But with that said, I'm not good. I'm not a good looking young female that's real small and can try on these clothes. And it just doesn't work like that for 90% of America. You know what I'm saying? Or 90% of the world. So if you go right here to audience and click on that, here's where the magic happens. Right? 25,000 views. 1.5 average viewer, right? In other words, each viewer that comes, I get 1.5, one and a half views. They might go back in the same video. They might find another video and click on it for a while, whatever. Tells you my subscribers, I, I've gained 189, right? In the last 28 days, I'm not down 9% from what I normally get. And if you hover over, it'll tell you, right? Change in subscribers compared with previous periods, right? So, I've act, last month I actually gained more, 9% more than what I'm showing right now. And that's what that's about. But if you scroll down just a little bit, watch it right here. When your viewers are on YouTube, okay? And if you look, the dark purple, the darker the purple, the more they're on, okay? And if you look right here on mine, I got the most color variations on Sunday. Then Monday and Tuesday are tied. Most of my watch time comes from 6 p.m. after. As you can see, all dark. Mostly dark. All dark. All dark. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday is my best time. Thursday, not really that good. Friday, not that good. Saturday, not good. But if you'll hover over one, very many of your viewers are on YouTube. Sunday, 8 o'clock. Go down to the next bar. 9 o'clock. Many are on YouTube, right? If I go to that one, 11 o'clock, many are on YouTube. So I can use this right here. When viewers are on YouTube, audience, under audience, right? To tell when I need to put my videos on, when I need to release, release my videos. Sunday, anytime from noon to midnight. Monday, anytime from uh, 5 o'clock to midnight. Tuesday's the same. Wednesday's the same. Rest of the week, eh, not that much. But you get a, you get, it, it's like those little things you see on the side of the road that has a little black thing that runs across the road. And when you drive over it, it counts, it tells what time you came through and how many cars came through. That's all, it it's a traffic survey. It tells when and how much, and that's it. That's the same thing this does. So now you can concentrate your videos to be dropped, released at that time or during those times. It gives you a generalization. And that's very handy to have. Now, I know that was a bit of a long-winded explanation. I'm sorry for that. But when I get in there, I see so much I want to tell you about. And I hate while you're here not to tell you. Because I don't know when you're going to come back again. Because if you also looked at those analytic numbers... 89% of the people who view my videos aren't even subscribers. 12% of the people who view are going by that. 12% or 11% are ones that are actually subscribed to my channels that watch my videos. That's a staggering number if you really think about it. You know, I've got over 6,000 subscribers and 11% of them watch. But I just wanted to put this out there for you because it's asked so much by so many people, you know, and it's just getting started. What should I do? When should I do it? Again, it's only limited by your imagination. And YouTube will tell you when people are watching. All you got to do is look. So I just want to put this out there to try to help those that are wondering the same things. Because when I first started, I had no clue. I had to learn all this stuff myself and everything. So maybe it'll help you out. I hope so. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Please like, share, subscribe. Another phrase you're going to have to get used to if you're doing this YouTube thing, you've got to actually ask people to share your videos. The more shares, the more subscribers, the more views, the more this circle goes round and round and round. <laughs> so until next time, take care. I am so glad each one of you stopped by, and I hope it helped. Thanks for watching.